And now to the breaking news from the Boston bombing trial tonight, accused bomber Jokar Tsarnaev, his defense team resting their case after just six hours, calling just four witnesses. You'll remember his own team said at the very start, it was him. But what they're trying to do now is save his life. He faces the death penalty and the defense sticking to its argument that the older brother, Tamerlan Tsarnaev, led the way, that his younger brother was influenced in every way by him. ABC's Tom Yamas in Boston again tonight. Johar Sarnayev's life may now depend on how jurors interpret this video from the day of the bombing. Tamerlan in the lead, Johar following in his older brother's footsteps. It's the picture the defense painted as they rested their case today, that Tamerlan called the shots in the evil plan. Their evidence? Tamerlan's fingerprints, not Johar's, on rolls of tape, a caulking gun, a soldering gun, and a jar of nails, possibly bomb-making supplies, all found in the Sarnayev family home. Tamerlan's prints also on this lid from the pressure cooker bomb in Watertown. And Tamerlan's computer, not Johar's, showing searches for detonator, fireworks firing system, and Boston Marathon. On the younger brother's computer, typical teenage stuff, Facebook and VK, the Russian Facebook. And it's that side of Johar Sarnayev the defense will likely highlight as they fight for his life in sentencing. The impressionable little brother just two years out of high school, not the committed terrorist on a mission to murder. David, Sarnayev's lawyers only called four witnesses compared to more than 90 by the prosecution. Closing arguments start on Monday.